Hey, this is Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro template widget. All right, so before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up. If you want to do that and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I've got videos covering all of the Elementor Pro elements or widgets, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of those videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this video. All right, so the template element is a powerful one. It allows us to save widgets and reuse them and speed up the whole design process of our website. It's easily one of my favorite widgets, and let's just dive into how to use it. It's very simple. So if we were to scroll down here, I actually created these three different images here. And if you wanted to save it as a template to reuse, you can go up here for this whole section and then just right click and then click save as template. So I might want to save that one as three images or three case studies. Let's just call that. And then I'll click save. And then you can see right here, there it is. It's saved in here. And let's just say you want to save another one, just this specific image here. I can go and right click and then I can click save as a global. So this is a little bit different, but let's just go and call this one CS or one case study, I'll just say. And I'll save that one as a global widget. So now we can see that it's under this global tab over here. That's fine, but we can actually go and I can show you two different ways you can actually drag in the template widget. So if you wanted to search, you can find it by going to template and then dragging it and dropping it in here. And then you can go to this drop down here and let's just type in three since we just did this section like that. And it says three case studies and then we would just click on that and it would make that go in as a template here. So if we go, we can X out of that. We also can go right here and click on this where it says add template. And then you can find where it says three case studies right here. And then just click insert and then I'll click yes. And that will also insert it. So that is how you can add it. You can actually add it anywhere in the site. So let's just go and click update right here. And then I'm actually gonna show you. So let's just add a new one. I'm just gonna add an image. Just paste this one right in here. And I'll just add this one that says case study and i'll insert that in now let's say i want to save this i'm going to right click on it save as template i'll just call this one one big case study i know it's really original and i'll just save that one and then you can see it's right here one big case study so i'm going to use this as an example i'm just going to click update and then i'm going to go over here exit to the dashboard so actually i should have shown you the blog so if we go back over here Let's actually go and open the site in a new tab. And you can see over here on the blog page that we have search, recent posts, and archives. Not a whole lot going on there, but let's go through the process of adding one of these templates that we just saved in there. So if we go to appearance and then widgets, and this is called the widget section if you don't know, we can go over here and drag and drop. So you click hold and drag it and drop it where you want in the main sidebar. I'm going to put it between recent posts and archives and just drop it in there. And then I'll go to choose template and I'll do one big case study and I'll save that. So if we went back over here to the blog, let's go and refresh it. And now you can see it says case study right here. And that is our template that we just saved the one big case study template. So that is how you would add it to the sidebar within your actual site or your blog here in this case. And you can actually reuse it and put it on any page as we went over earlier. So I hope this video on the Elementor template widget was helpful. If it was, please consider giving this video a thumbs up or a like. And feel free to subscribe for more WordPress and Elementor related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a good one.